likes to do that. The only thing he has to look out for when doing that is just straight up dash attack. Because yeah. you can run into the thing. At high percents, it kills around 170 if it's, sta if it's not stale on the zero suit. So, so you just. Yeah. So you just run. Like if you're at the edge of the stage. So if he's at the edge of the stage and does the stun, just run into it. Luma gets hit, but you don't, and you kill him. Yep. So we're right. heading into the game here. Uh, Ninetales is using uh, the Luma Warp and the Luma Shot. Falco Laser S Custom. And uh, Pro Bear is just standard zero suit here. Yep. Using my favorite color, orange. Orange, orange is a good color. I like to use orange on my falcon. Oh, no. oh my oh, goodness! Almost, almost getting kill. the up air strings from the up This is gonna already. be the battle of the up, up airs and up -ease. Oh, well, not up -ease, My bad. This, uh, these, these two players have played against each other a lot. Often, much higher in the bracket, but this is round one they're facing off here. So this is a pretty stacked tournament. Yeah, there's a lot of good people here. There's a lot of people here in general. Yeah. That's wonderful. All right, so a downbeat right there. See, if you perfect pivot inside, that's an up smash, especially when you Luma. That's a kill, though. Wow, oh, no, no, kid. my bad. Good, good DI. Yeah, good DI good all DI. the way across the stage there. I mean, obviously, as a real Luma main, I knew that would have killed, but I was expecting average oh. DI. Not average DI, but that DI was excellent. Nice. And yeah. I wasn't expecting such a good DI, to be honest. Yeah, like I, like I mentioned, Prober has got a lot of matchup experience against uh, Ninetales here, so I think he knows what he's doing, but that's one of Ninetales' favorite things to do, I think, with Rosalina. It's a landing fair and an up smash or forward smash. And now that Rosalina has got a lot of rage here, she can hit really hard with her special decks. Both of these characters definitely had, had kill percent right now. The thing with the landing fair is when you're quick enough, you can't get hit by up smash or forward smash. The down smash and forward tilt are like the only guarantees. So him getting hit like that was more Robert not knowing what to do. So if he cleans that up, that's not a kill. Yeah, it is. Oh, it does oh. seem pretty hard to take. Misses the punish there. That was the importance of perfect pivoting. There was no perfect pivot for the up smash. Yeah. A shout outs and nerfs to uh, Jab and Combo. Oh, not, yeah. <laughs> not, kill, not killing Zerus at that time. Pretty close. Oh, nice. Oh, Robert was ready for that with the. I don't know if he power shielded it because he can't hear, but look at the power shield, right? Yeah, wow. Forward tilt to killing Rosalind. Age of the Stage, Rage, Light Care. Yeah, all, the, all three of those things combined. Net and, net and Zerus, net and Robert kill there. That's a good Zare. Uh, Ooh, cool. nice up Great up smash, though. See what I mean right there? Mm -hmm. just, no matter where she jumps, she's at perfect height for it. Yeah. It's yeah. really dangerous. I think that, that Zare is a really good idea in this matchup. It looks like he's taking my advice. He's it a little bit more. Especially to get rid of Luma. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It hits right through both. both uh, and obviously it doesn't kill Luma right away, but it does a good job of uh, adding that damage. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, Luma has 50% damage. And once she reaches zero HP from that 50, she disappears. Yep. Or you could kill her off stage. Yep, I think once she reaches 5%, is that right? Then she can actually take knockback. And if she yeah. gets hit by a move before she's taken 5%, then Luma just doesn't. Yep, exactly. Yeah. Something like that. I think, so, it, I think it is 5%. So you can knock Luma off, or you can deal 50%, but that's a lot sometimes. Right now, Pro Bear seems to be handling this really well, but. You know, it's Rosalina with up air, so a lead isn't really a lead. So he's got to end this stock. Quickly. Yeah, he does have a decent lead here. Forward air, not going to do it. Right now, at the top of the stage, a halo will kill. Yeah. So he's got to end this quickly. Going for that dash attack. Assuming trying to put him in the air. Oh, wow. A great punish against the dash attack with the forward smash, but all the way across the stage, not going to do it. Nice dash uh, attack, getting rid of Luma. Yeah, it's another another good way to get rid of Luma's dash attack. But it's very Ooh, nice. Wow, punish that was probably smash a, again. that down smash is probably a bait. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's extremely it lagless. It, yeah. come, it takes a few frames to come out, but practically unpunishable. Don't Most moves try. can look like that. You just have to buffer what you're gonna do next right away. So that was dependent on a hard read. Yeah. He hard read uh, Night Tales right there. So it's 1-0 now in favor of Pro Bear. That was close match. Yeah, that's that very close. Percent say it's not, but with Rosalina's killing power, it's, it was definitely a close match. Yeah, certainly. And knowing both of these players, either of them could come back from a huge deficit. Oh, yeah. yeah. Take him to Helder. <laughs> <laughs> so Town and City, what do you think about being Rosalina made yourself? What do you think about this counterpick for Rosalina? 
it helps both of them, but Rosalina's up air is more frequent and more uh, reliable. So I think it's a better stage for Rosalina. However, again, taking player skill into consideration, I'd rather not have Robert on the stage when he's controlled easily because I think it's pretty clear that uh, if not by a lot, that Robert is a better player. So I would, you know, and that's one of his favorite methods of killing. I would try to take that away, but at the same time, Nine Tails, he loves the stage for obvious reasons. Yeah, he also has great music. Yeah, <laughs> and again, up smash, it goes through everything. You yeah. saw that dare get punished with an up smash. Yeah, it, it actually has invincibility friends on it. Does, yeah, um, is that right? I think so. No, it just has a lot of priority. Okay. I know, I know there are a few oh. characters. Wow. That was close. Good DI yeah, by yeah. Nine Tails holding right up to pop out at the top there. I have to do some research on that, but I don't. I often get punished for too much up smash sometimes. So. Yeah, it, too much of any, too much of a good thing is always. Bad. Too much up smash. It's a great, great move, but can't ever become big. But there's an up smash. Well, I mean, like if it were like Mario's up smash with the invincibility, I mean, Vivid, the number one player in Oregon, he yeah. just throws up smashes like crazy. Yeah. He doesn't care. That move, he's got is, invincibility. move is pretty good. Oh! Oh no! Wow, almost barely comes almost back. Again. Spooking me there. That's one good thing about the oh, stage wow. is if you up B into it, it'll slide you up. Oh yeah, that's true. That. Fun fact, that's one of the difference t differences between uh, Battlefield and uh, the Miiverse. The Miiverse? It yeah. It doesn't slide you up, it slides you down. Yeah, I've just been playing around with Miiverse a little bit, uh, with practicing with Roy, and it seems to me like the area of effect that you actually grab the ledge on that is much smaller than yep. practically any other stage. You have to be right on the ledge to grab it. Alright, uh, I don't know if you went for... there was. Luma that wasn't buff in the joint. That was nice. That was no, a nice setup. Right, a good Luma warp. Sometimes he doesn't. Ninetales does a makes really good use of that little Luma warp. He doesn't throw it out often, but he always makes it count. I think he always makes his opponent forget about it. So that was a tricky situation there. That's how you can tell Brober has experience in this matchup. When uh, he when he put Rosalina into the ground, he did an attack because Luma was right there. Yeah, Most he, people just run straight into it. Yeah, definitely. He is he and certainly he, learned that the hard the hard way. If you buffer the one, two, three, that's a kill. You know, if they run into it. There's a sure you can. There's a third one. Oh, there's a good upbeat. Wow, nice DI. Rosalina that was an FDI. so light and good great DI to get out of there. Ooh, I don't know why he didn't go for the down air. That seemed like it was gonna hit. For sure I thought the down air was gonna happen. He's a little off, but he's starting to catch on to uh he's starting to get used to the timing. Trying to up smash his down beat. Uh -huh. Wow, just had super even this game out. That was a good there. Oh, wow. Four I would there. say right now, because CSS has to do strong attacks to kill, Rosalina doesn't. I'd say right now it's in Ninetales favor. But at the same time, Rosalina's really light, so... Yeah, and Zerus is just so much faster in general. I, I don't know, it's hard to say. But oh, right there. the nooch! Rosalina, when Luma's out, Luma tilt kill, uh, Nair's kill, like... Nair's Everything kill. kills. Yeah. Luma is so strong. That was a great, great option by Ninetales. I think he definitely realized that the, new, the neutral air would kill there. Oh comes out so fast. Oh, good job. You know, that's, I think that's part of Rosalina's design. Is uh, She purposely is light because if, if the percents are even, she's, in, in a way she's like Ganon, or she has the, the, the lead. Right. If, she, if she were any heavier, it would be unfair. Right? Because of things like that, Nair kills, Tilt kill. Yeah. So, you know, when you see a, a, like sort a glass, of a glass cannon. cannon. Yeah. Mewtwo also is a glass cannon. For sure. But he doesn't have Luma. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have a Luma to act as a constant shield and hitbox for him. So, he has some trouble with that. Ooh, nice grab to up smash. Wow, just right the, now the it looks... weak hit of the up smash. Yeah. Um, I, you can combo off that. Um, but I'm pretty sure he was expecting to hit with the whole thing, and so he wasn't ready. It happens. And uh, so, Bro Bear's counterpick this time, taking Nine Tails to new stage, Dreamland. It's so because happy. of the, the bottom of the stage. It's very easy for Rosalina to accidentally go hit it. Oh, I didn't even so, think about that. That's I don't know if that's why, but it's a really good counterpick. I know that uh, Bro Bear likes the stage. It's obviously 
very much like Battlefield, which is a, obviously a great stage for zero, for zero Suit, but the ceiling is actually a little bit smaller than Battlefield. Also, the platforms are a little bit higher, which helps her because she has such high jumps. And uh, I wonder if the wind will come into effect much. Right now, Rose, uh, Nightales is in a dominating position. Yeah, it did a really good job. Got a huge percent lead. I mean, if, if being even with Rosalina is bad, definitely being down is horrible. <laughs> yeah. He's doing a really good job of um, putting Ro uh, Luma in different areas and making uh, Rover react. Because yeah. even if you're not hitting, the fact is he has to react to two different things instead of one. Oh wow, I think he caught his jump or something. It seemed like Robert just wasn't ready for that, didn't react fast enough to being hit by the Luma shot. Would Uppy have made that? I think it would have if he was fast enough. Yeah, I think he just just wasn't ready for it. You know, I've been trying to practice a little bit of ZSS because you know I'm trying to learn the characters. Oh really? Yeah. And it's really that with Zero Suits up B is really weird. Sometimes it makes it and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. Yeah. I'm trying to figure that out. <laughs> Maybe it's actually like reuse. Or the longer you hold it, the higher it goes. <laughs> I I think I should try that. Or I'll just ask Bro Bear. <laughs> He's going for a lot of these stuns. Um, at least, he at least takes Luma out there. This might be a good chance for him. Goes for an up tilt, but gets punished. Comes back with a down B. Uh, foot kick. Wow, he's just. Uh, it seems like Burberry is he's working on spacing a little bit. 48 is too bad. He has to run around, get until he's out of invincibility. 55, he can do this. There's a D to D there in the background. Oh wow! Nice. Up smash to the same nice. Oh, up smash. That was beautiful. That That's was the kind of stuff that I love to see with Rosalina. Yes. Combos with Luma. I like that because usually I get impatient and want and want a lot of damage with a kill. I would have done an up smash there and it wouldn't combo. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that was really that was really good uh, patience. Yeah. By Nine Tails. Nine Tails is is a smart player even when his opponent is. At such a high percent like this, he doesn't really he doesn't fish for those kill moves. He plays it very smart. If there was rage on Rosalina, that would have been a kill. But here's the thing: he's got rage. He can do this. Yeah. But rage is oh, oh, ever go. present in this game. Obviously, you don't want to attack like like uh, in a dumb way. But with Rosalina gone, you just go in. You have to, or with Luma yeah. gone, you have to go in. Yeah, it's your chance. Oh, wow. Ooh. Really juggling him right now. With rage. Oh, no, that could be oh! it. Oh! Oh, bear! No. Ninetales misses the ledge there. Lands right on the ledge. On the, right on the lip. Rover punishes with a down smash into a forward smash. In the face of defeat. Just a, night, wow. a stun. Boom! Wow. Rover. 